Hi, boys and girls. Welcome to Get Moving with Miss Renier and Mrs. Enos. Today, we're going to work on our long distance start. So this is the kind of start you would do for a longer distance run. And you're very familiar with this, but I'll just give you a couple of reminders. When you're running, you don't need to go down to take a sprint in the beginning. When you're doing a longer distance, you don't want the beginning of your race, the beginning of your run to be the fastest. You want to kind of be slow and steady, try to keep the same pace the whole time of your run. Um, I did forget to mention for the short, quick starts, at the very end is when you really want to pump it out. You don't want to slow down once you see that finish line. You want to go as fast as you can over that finish line. So now we're here with the long distance run, you can just start out and when somebody says go, you're going to run. So maybe, you know, give yourself more distance than the short one. Um, you don't have to time yourself, but just get, I want to see how, I want you to learn and be thinking about how you're running, your elbows in, your own to nose. Okay, so that you can last a long time. You don't want to you know, start fast, you don't want to end super fast. Uh, the middle should be even. And that's the two differences between a short sprint run and a long distance run. Okay, have fun with it. For a long distance run, we want you to practice your stick run. So find some space, whether it's in your yard or in your house, um, to run some laps. And you wanna to try to see if you can keep your pace for 10 minutes. Now remember, your hands should be open, not in fists. You need to keep your elbows in and try to be running the whole time. So for your assignment today, you're going to practice your start 10 times with just one step. Then you're going to find some space and practice two sprints. So you're going to time your first sprint and then you're going to try to beat your time with your second sprint. 